things opening back up in Pendleton here going into the summer? Uh, it's opening up really well, Greg. Uh, we got a lot of, a lot of folks in town uh, on any given night and enjoying the, the square up here and enjoying the restaurants and and uh, it's uh, it's been really good. There's a lot of activity here, so we're happy about that. It's all all good, and I think all the merchants are happy about it. But uh, Spring Jubilee was a big success, is and uh, we we're doing quite well. We think so. It's all good. What else y'all got planned coming into the summer? Uh, well, you know, coming into the summer here, we hope to have some more music out here on the green from time to time, and uh, try to keep keep some fun going for folks that just want to come up here and hang out and have a good time. And uh, the weather's beautiful this coming, uh, next coming few days here, so I think we'll see a lot of people hanging out with us. I hope so. How about any new businesses? Anybody, any new businesses coming downtown yet? Or? Well, we've got some new ones coming in. Uh, I, I know we're going to have, they're working on the construction on uh, rains over here, which is a uh, is coming and don't know the exact timeline on it but you know they're working on getting that built and it'll have rooftop seating and all that's gonna be nice and we've gotten uh brews on the square just came in and uh, they've just opened up recently and and it's doing well and uh yeah, of course we've got another one down the street here off square a little bit which is fallon brewing company and they've just added a new beer garden there and and uh they're having food trucks in and uh look like uh doing quite well with all that everybody's I've, everybody I've talked to has had real positive comments about it. So uh, those are some of the new businesses we've got. And uh, we've uh, got some things too um, on 187 and 76 down there that have come in. You know, we've got a new Little Caesars Pizza and we, we've got a new convenience store I think going to be coming in down there. And we've got a car wash on 76 that just came in. So we've got a number of new businesses around. And uh, it's all working. Of course, Food Line. Uh, you know, Bilo sold out and we've got food line there and uh, I've heard good comments about them too. So we're happy with the way things are going right now. Any other economic development news you think of? Uh, no, not really. Not really. Um, you know, we've, we've uh, got a certain amount of just growth and development ongoing, you know, just because uh, that seems to be the trend in this area right now, all over this area, three counties, but we're getting our share of it for sure. How'd the budget go? Sure. Budget went well. Um, we're doing pretty good. We're financially solid. Uh, we try to make sure of that. So we're a little conservative right sometimes as to our spending, but we want to make sure we're 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 very solid financially. And uh, at any given time, we try to maintain a fund balance that we can operate on for at least 18 months. If we didn't have a dime coming in, so that's where we're at, and we're able to fund some things that we didn't think we'd be able to. So. Um, I think we're going to see some other improvements coming that we're going to be able to make because of that. And we're trying to get uh, some things done to some of our roads and other infrastructure coming up here with some of that money. So it's, uh, we just bought a new garbage truck. That's sort of a thing you don't probably think about a lot, but it's very important. So we got a brand new garbage truck. So we're trying to keep our equipment updated, keep good equipment so we can get things done more efficiently. And y'all have sort of made a, a strategy of being very particular about how you're growing. You're trying to have planned growth here, right? Yeah, well, we try to look at everything. And, uh, you know, uh, we put a six-month moratorium on town ho homes and multifamily just to kind of sit back and look at things. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we, growth is good, but you surely we want to be, uh, be careful and prudent about what we do, uh, especially, you know, in this area of town. Um, but I think we're going to see, we're just going to see growth in this whole region, you know, all, you know, all three counties. I think we're going to see a lot of growth here coming up and it's coming. I think it's coming either way. But, uh, yeah, we want to try to preserve our small town character and historical character as well. And we want, uh, you know, we want good stuff here. Everybody loves this place, and I'm one of them. I grew up here, and you did too. So, you know, it's, it's a great place to live, and we want to keep it that way. And Pendleton, probably more than any other town in the county, is an awful lot of people visiting for historical purposes, a lot of historic stuff. How important is the historic nature of Pendleton with Ashtabula and all the other things surrounding it? You've got this South Carolina Ag Museum, and now got the Mule Barn out there. How important is that to Pendleton? I think it's very important. I think it draws a lot of people to Pendleton. Um, but at the same time, you know, we've got an explosion of people here that, uh, you know, are coming in nowadays that I'm, I'm not sure um, whether that's what drives them here or not. 
just to be perfectly honest with you, but a lot of people are coming here, and, and uh, I don't blame them. I, I like it here too, so I'm happy they're able to come. I, you know, and, and we want to try to balance, uh, you know, the kind of housing we have available because uh, we don't want to get to a point, or at least I don't, um, I can't always speak for council, but I, I don't want to get to a point where we uh, don't have affordable housing for everyone. You know, I think there's a faction of people that like to see expensive housing, and that's good, and it's good for the tax rolls, but at the same time, everybody can't afford a, a, a $350,000 or $400,000 house. So you've got to have something for everybody, I think. So we've got to be careful about that, too. We don't want to discriminate against folks, and uh, we, we want to welcome everybody to Pendleton, regardless of what the income level is or the background or, or whatever else. What about the oil mill? I always ask you about that. Any, any movement on that old property down there? A uh, little bit. There's a few things going on, and uh, we're hopeful that in the next uh, next few months, that's going to be one of our big targets. But uh, you know, there's a price tag associated with that ultimately, and uh, hopefully, we're getting to that point because we've been expanding the tax base, and hopefully, we're going to be at a point here where we can uh, we'll be able to do something. And uh, that's high up on my list. Trust me, I would love to get something done with it, and I know that a lot of people feel the same way. So. Uh, that's definitely on the hit list for us. That's a natural place for the town to grow too, right? Yeah, I think it's a good place. I mean, it, it's a lot of things can be done. We've had some plans done on it as to some kind of what-if scenarios. Clemson University helped us out with a lot of that, and we've got a, a lot of possibilities what we can do. Now, it's not every possibility just because what was done there, uh, you can't put just anything back there, uh, but, uh, you know, DHEC and EPA came in and, and uh, did a lot of work there as far as getting rid of things there that were undesirables and uh, maybe, um, you know, contaminated and things like that. But I, I don't think you'll ever see single family homes sitting on it, for instance. But it'd be a nice place for a park and maybe some other things. And uh, anyway, it, we'll just have to see how it goes. But we would love to improve that. That's big on our list. Yeah. You had talked about one time before when we were talking about the improvements y'all were doing in moving, you know, planting and landscaping around town. Any updates on that? Oh, yeah. Well, we're, um, you may or may not know about what we're doing on the west side over here on West Queen. Uh, there's going to be big improvements coming there and on North Mechanic. Um, basically, we're trying to extend the look that we have here on the square down those er in those areas and, uh, you know, get that going so that we can continue executing our downtown plan here and uh, just improving the looks and the walkability of it and um, you know the, all those things really so we want to we'd love to have you know more areas for people to get out and walk and ride their bikes and things like that we're all about that i am anyway so i think council shares that same view with me any other goals you and council have maybe for the rest of the summer going into the fall anything else you'd like to get done well, um, right now I think our focus is on, you know, the things such as the oil mill. I think we we got to look at that and, and, you know, we can't bite it all off at once, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. You know, there's all of these things that on any given day we'd love to do, but we uh, can't do them all, so we're going to try to do them one at a time. And uh, the way we've approached it is just try to prioritize what we wanted to do. And, you know, the first thing, one of the first things we wanted to do is we wanted to get this downtown uh, plan done, done and, and get it reconfigured down here, and I think that was very successful. Um, but it cost some money and took some time, and you know everything we're going to do as an improvement is going to be the same way. It's going to cost some money. It's going to take some time. So we're just moving through them one by one, and that's the way I like to do it. I like to you know pick something out, let's focus on it, let's get it done, and then let's move to something else. So hopefully we'll get it all done one day. Just take a little time and cost a little money. So. But I think it's going to pay off. I think in the long run, it's all good. It's all good investment in our town here. Has everything pretty much come back complete normal since the whole pandemic stuff? All events back on and activities going on in the next few months? Pretty much. Yeah, I would say pretty much we're back. Uh, another thing I like to say, I hope people consider getting vaccinated, the ones that haven't. And I think it's very important. Um, it's not going to give you COVID. You may have a reaction, but uh, you know, I'll take a reaction for a day or so to COVID any day because I've, uh, I've had several friends that got it and a couple of them that passed away. And uh, 
it's, it's real, folks. It, it really is, regardless of what you think. It, it is very real. And of course, they've got these variants coming out. The more it, more it can mutate, the more likely it, you, you're, you are to see those variants coming out. And they, they're more deadly, more dangerous. And, you know, people just need to get vaccinated. I hope they'll consider doing that. Y'all got places here, if people want to get vaccinated, they can come right in and get right? I, it's pretty easy, I, I think, right now to get vaccinated. So, uh, you know, we've gotten to this point where now we have it available and then you've got a lot of folks out there saying, eh, I don't know. But they're making it more convenient every day. And uh, I think that's great. So I'm, I'm hoping people will will go ahead and get it done. And uh, let's get over this thing, get, get back to, to normal all the way. It's July 4th, hope everybody has a safe July 4th. And, uh, you know, good, a, a good summer. I think the weather's gonna be pretty good the next few days. That's about it. I think we're good. Well, there's a lot of ifs right now and a lot of things that we think are gonna happen, but I hate to throw that out there, you know, not knowing. I got you. I, got um, you. I don't wanna tell them something and it not come true. But you know, anything I know that's gonna happen, I'm gonna put it out there. But other than that, like I say, we're gonna try to get, you know, we talked about music up here and stuff like that. We're gonna do some things just to kind of promote, but um, you know, any really big things other than what you already know about, Mechanic Street, West Queen, right. Try to do something with oil melt at some point here. You know, Who's those, next elections here? Those are the big ones. It'll be this November. So y'all do have elections? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll Let be up. Let me just ask you that. Okay, y'all, what, what offices are up for election this November? Okay, yeah, this November it'll be my office. I'll be up for election. Um, and also um, one of our other count, council persons will be up, which is Denise Jackson. It'll, she'll be up for re-election as well in her ward. Yeah, we've been able to work together well. Uh, you know, it's like anything, we don't always agree, but we're respectful of each other's opinions and uh, we move on. We try to reach a consensus and move on. But uh, council works hard and uh, they've done a good job in my opinion. I couldn't, couldn't do it without them. They've been very supportive and we've all worked together. We're a team. It's not because of any one person here and uh, I don't think that ever works out. So, uh, you know, it, we work as a team with our staff. Our staff is great and they do a great job too. And uh, nobody's perfect. We make our mistakes, and uh, you know there's things that don't always go right. But we uh, we try to if we know about it, we, we'll fix it and we'll move on. So that's what we try to do. We just do our best. And if somebody here in Pendleton wants to reach out to you or council, where do they find how to get y'all? Well, you can contact Town Hall directly by dialing the phone number eight six four six four six nine four zero nine. If you want to talk to me, I'm at my place of business a lot. Um, at, uh, at Crenshaw's TV and Appliance. Not trying to create a commercial here, but I'm there a lot. You're welcome to come by there anytime and talk to me. Uh, you can contact me there at 864-646-3406. Um, you can email me at the Town of Pendleton. Um, I'm bfrank at townofpendleton.org. Or you can mail me at my business at frank at tvandappliance.com. Um, and uh, you know, glad to talk to anybody anytime. So we welcome that, any comments or suggestions or, or complaints either way. We would love to hear it.